everybody, welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. I am your host, Jerks. And of course, as always, I have my three uh, mistresses. We got Los, the most, Public at Edimini 59. We got JP, Linkser 101. And that mysterious person behind the curtain is JD. Hello. Hi. All right. Okay. Oh. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, well, this uh, has been, uh, I know JP says it a lot, and I was kind of like, don't want to keep saying it, but it's been kind of slow out there. <laughs> <laughs> Day 156 of quarantine. Guys, yeah. I'm going crazy. That's crazy, being quarantined. But uh, let's go ahead and start it with pop culture. Let's do it. Pop. Pop, 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 I never liked Taylor Swift. I never saw talent in her. I don't think she's an awesome-looking woman. I don't think that at all. She looks like a weird, ugly elf um, to me. Uh, she looks like a twig, um, you know, like a little skinny little twig. Nothing yeah, on body her. shaming. They, no, uh, ever yeah, I, I don't give that. a damn. I see what I see. Uh, take it as you want it. If she's a strong woman, she wouldn't matter, right? right? You have confidence in yourself. Anyway. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Keep body shaming. Uh, uh, Kim Kardashian has... I mean, has been irrelevant for a long, long time. I mean, the only time she became actually relevant was after she made that porn video. A sex um, tape is not porn. Yeah, yeah, it's amateur porn. Thank you. Okay, amateur pornism. She got but <laughs> got fucked. So I don't see the talent in either one. People see talent on them. People buy their albums. Um, you know, they buy Taylor Swift albums. I don't know why. They watch Kim Kardashian show. I don't know why. Uh, but I really could care less. The only thing here is that why is this feud continuing? Isn't it been like 15 years since uh, Kanye West grabbed their fucking award and just took that shit away? Like, get over it, people. Well, get over the, big, it. the big one they're talking about is the phone call. It was it was like back in 2016 that they were trying to, you know, after they were supposedly had made up and then, you know, apparently it was an edited video, edited phone call. That's what it was. So that's what they're, that's what the whole feud is going on right now. Uh, I mean, that's they're just trying to bring attention right now to themselves. I think it's a very good move. Uh, for them, because right now with people stuck in quarantine, they don't have much to do. Uh, they're, they're looking for whatever little glimmer of, of, of sustenance of Hollywood. I don't know why people are like that, but they are like Lowe's. Who knows? So, you know, I don't I don't really give a shit about that. But Lowe's, you have an opinion? ET Online. Taylor Swift fans have a little sympathy for Kim Kardashian West being struck, stuck home for with her four kids. So this started off with an Instagram thing. So she t she posted an Instagram uh, post saying, uh, "What is everyone doing to keep their your kids entertained?" Question mark. She captioned the selfie with her ten month old son, uh, Sam, in her lap. Uh, quote: As a family, we are social distancing, but keep some fun ideas of what to do. Uh, exclamation mark. Any suggestions would help. End quote. Uh, well, anyways. She posted this on Instagram, but then that same week, there was a video that leaked of the whole conversation between Kanye West and Taylor Swift, which was over that famous song that he did. Uh, yeah, the, with the video. Yeah. With the yeah. Naked. All the stars are naked. And, like, supposedly that he had asked her about this and talked about her. And then, of course, later on, Taylor Swift said, no, you did it. And then Kim K said, yes, you did. And, like, showed clippets of the video. Mm -hmm of the recording of her talking to Kanye about it. But now we get the whole release and now people are like, wait a minute, she really didn't tell her about this, like how it was gonna go down in the music video and whatnot in the lyrics. So now the, the feud has been reignited, but Kim K, Kim K is trying to move past it. She's really like over it. And on top of that, you know, she's trying to be, be a lawyer now. So she's like, I don't really don't care about you. Wait, what? Well, to be honest, from what I'm reading, it's not even Taylor Swift herself. It's her fans that are that are coming off on on yeah. Kim Kardashian. You know, but I'll be fans. honest. Yeah, you know, I'll be honest. I've, I've I've tried to steer clear of a lot of what's going on with the Kardashians anyway. I mean, I give them. A, on their business side, they're doing great, but as far as their show and their and their drama and everything like that, I just don't. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. Just, they can just. 
you can never take away yeah. from the Kardashians their business moves. Never. Yeah, really like, you got to give them props. I'll give them props. Like, they took advantage of stupid-ass people, and the stupid-ass people buy their products. So, I mean, props to them. And they know how to market yeah. it well. Too. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I, props to them. But as far as entertainment for me, I'm from the older generation. You know, I grew up in the 90s, 2000s. That shit don't phase me. I don't give a two shits about it. Yeah, but Lowe's, Lowe's, do you like that show, Lowe's? I mean, do you watch it? Uh, I hope they both have a great day. That's my opinion. On it. <laughs> <laughs> you taking a high road? Right. I love there, it. Yeah. With that being said, let's move on to the next uh, conversation topic here. The Tiger King. The Tiger King is on Netflix, ladies and gentlemen. This this <laughs> has been like the most weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like The hype. It's like been the, real. the hype is insane. Like, like I've never even heard of it. Next thing I know, I see memes of it all over the internet. I'm like, what the hell is this? So finally, na- last night, I see that it's a Netflix thing. I'm like, oh, it's a, it's a, like a doc on Netflix. You know, Netflix is winning if almost all their shows they come out with have memes. Yeah. Lord Jesus have yeah. mercy. Well, I watched an episode of it. Did not like it. I thought it was boring. I was like, what? This is it. It's a bunch of, bunch of tigers, a bunch of kitty cats. I don't yeah. like cats to begin with, so I'm like, Ugh. yeah, I don't like cats either. <laughs> so what is this uh, for someone like me who hasn't seen this show? Yeah, I haven't like, seen y'all it give me a summary real TLDR, quick. TLDR, uh, sure. Uh, basically, the Tiger King is uh, stars Joe Exotic. Uh, Joe Exotic, what a good name, bro. He's that's a good, uh, name. That's a good porn name. He Joe Exotic. <laughs> he yeah, run, yeah. He, he run, I could use that. He. Run, <laughs> <laughs> he runs uh he runs like this uh exotic uh zoo animal thing i don't know uh, like out of the middle of nowhere in, i think oklahoma and basically he has like over yeah he a- looks i'm sorry to interrupt he no, looks no, like no, he's yeah. from oklahoma he, he, <laughs> yeah. he has, that he, has bullet, like, that bullet is on point. he has like over 120 something tigers on his property he, he basically like he breeds them there and like he basically has people come to his park and you know he'll show them the tigers he'll let them pet the cubs and he's not the only one i mean there's other people They're, they showed this other guy who's a lot bigger than him uh i forget his name something antler but mm-hmm. he, this guy is more sophisticated in terms of how he runs his organization because uh mm-hmm. i mean he, ha- he has oh. the brains for it he's actually a doctor <laughs> and he is his name Ansel. Doc yeah Ansel. yeah Ansel's his last name i forgot his first yeah. But like the his 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 way of doing things as well, he tries to put it as look, this, we're helping the tigers, uh, you know, uh, like even in the doc, there was a section where in the news where they said that there's more tigers here being held in captivity versus being out in the wild. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. so they, they they were showing that. And basically there's a there's this other person named I think what's the name Claire Birkins or something like that Claire something or Clark I don't even remember but anyways she's a conservative she doesn't want them to have the tigers she's trying to get them away from them but apparently Joe Exotic said Nah-uh-uh. he's always fighting her he has his own little like internet show and then uh, uh, apparently it turns out that he had hired somebody to try to kill her and now he's in jail and yeah. like the 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 series starts off with like five years ago or whatever, and then it like I kind of I guess it leads up to the moment of what happened to where he, like he's in jail, but like I said, I I tried watching the first episode, Ugh, I was falling asleep. I was like, man, I really don't care about these people. Like it, Joe, it seems entertaining, <laughs> but I'm just like, eh, like who cares? JD, you have you seen it? I haven't seen. I've been seeing a bunch of stuff around the internet about it. Just I haven't really had a chance to watch it yet. Um, you know, I'm I'm I'm. I'm an animal lover. I like cats and dogs, but it just, it, to be honest, I'm not big on these document series just because they usually are, are biased and opinionated, and I don't like watching stuff like that. I want, I want fictional stuff that's just, you know, I can just, you know, escape into, so. Okay. No, well, they did show, like, all sides, though. They show, they, they show how, like, Joe is very, like, He's very country. <laughs> he's very, he's very, Can you know, tell? he, he loves the animals. Like he, you see him like petting them, like being around them. He, he says too, they're like therapeutic for him. Cause you know, he, and then you see him like walking around with a gun all the time. He's like, the gun is never for the tigers, it's for people. And then like, he, he he's very affectionate to, towards the animals. He loves all his animals. He takes care of them. I mean, and then, and then you see the other person, the, the animal activist who's trying to like basically stop him. And honestly, you see her side as well. I do love how they they 
they don't cut away from you know how like for example let me back up here whenever you see like uh you know one of those uh reality tv shows where they're like walking up to the door the person and they're meeting like knock on the door and they meet for the first time kind of thing supposedly yeah, well, yeah. Well, they don't cut away from the moment prior to that where they actually do meet and talk to each other. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, go ahead in front of the door and then I'm going to go over here and open the door for you. And, you know, we can introduce ourselves like that there. So I do like how they put it all together in perspective and like make sure this isn't reality TV. This is a doc. This isn't like mm -hmm. us trying to promote yeah. you. So it, you do see everybody's individuality. You do see them as people, not just as like characters to this this doc. And uh, the the activist, mm. she's actually like, she, I, honestly, I didn't see a difference between any of them. Like all of them were like all about the animals, all about the tigers. Uh, she was also like doing like like walkthroughs of this place, and people were being charged for it. And I don't know. I, like I said, it. it I didn't, I didn't. At, at the end, I was just kind of like, at, at the end of the first episode, I was like, okay, I think I've seen everything about this eventually you know it builds up to him like trying to do something to her but i think i think where they try to get what they try to do with the gotcha moment is where how what what brought him to do it you know what i mean like did he really do it and it, you kind of see the process of like throughout this five years of being recorded like makes you think about oh did he do it or not i really don't yeah. care <laughs> yeah um i mean it it seems interesting to me. Uh, I usually like these kind of documentaries. Yeah. The one they did with the uh, to catch or to the murder one. What, Making what a murder. Yeah. Making a murder. I really like that one. Yeah, so, I saw that uh, one too. Yeah. If this one is comes even close to that, then I'm interested. Uh, and I've been hearing a lot of hype about it. People talking about it on Twitter. There's been so. a lot of hype about it. A I lot. For sure, of, and I then, for sure want to check it out. And then supposedly there, like, there's a there's a, a competition, quote unquote of edward norton or i forgot the other dax shepherd to play joe exotic in the movie you know what i mean <laughs> bro dax shepherd would be like legit bro yeah like they, they, somebody thing. photoshopped yeah. his face on joe and it looks just like him yeah i could see it i could see it <laughs> edward norton i couldn't see doing that but yeah Dax Shepard. well i mean i i think it's I think that it's very interesting that how Netflix goes about and does their shows. Shout out to Netflix, man. They're killing it. They're doing their job yeah. and, and making sure everything's entertaining. Honestly, I would say out of Hulu, uh, you know, Disney Plus and everything, mm -hmm. I think the most shows I've been watching have been on Netflix. So shout out to them. They're doing an excellent job and, and props to them. I, I want to watch the show. I actually want to watch it, but Elias kind of made me like, eh, with the whole – because I know how Elias is. If it's boring as fuck, he'll – you know what I'm saying? He'll fucking No, cut I mean, that off. I, I, I think it's popular for a reason. Uh, shit, watch it. See, watch the first episode. See if you like it. But I, I think for me, it's just like, oh, like I think, I think it's maybe, maybe because I just don't like cats. <laughs> like I don't care. That could be. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Give it a give it a watch. I, I would recommend anybody. I mean, you have Netflix. It's like already yeah, there. Yeah, as a as a tiger. That's a tiger cub here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know how it's like to love animals. At, uh, but, yeah, uh, keep watching that, guys. I'll probably watch it. We can do a review, if anything. We'll see. I, I don't mind doing a review for it, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a long, long fucking show if it's boring. The hell? Who has the tiger cubs? What the fuck? I know. Uh, take care of your tigers, dog. <laughs> My little tiger cub. <laughs> sure, don't talk to. All right. Well, that's going to end it for pop culture. Let's move on into sports, ladies and gentlemen. Da -da. Sports. Touchdown. Well, as we know, sports. Uh, I think the major, the major thing here is, you know, football still continuing as is with free agency. They haven't really stopped. There's not a lot of good, good, like, free agent players out there. There's, like, average or just a lot of good offensive linemen that have been available. Um, I know Seattle has improved a lot defensively. Um, also, not only that, <clears throat> there's a lot of players that are interested in going to Tampa Bay due to Tom Brady. And at first, it was widely considered that Antonio Brown was going to go to Tampa Bay. Oh, Lord. Uh, he needs to stop being trying to be hey, in the NFL. Hey, the Bruce Arians was like, hail to the fuck no. Hell no. And people were actually pissed off because they were like, if you get Tom Brady this. But I think the, with the wide receivers that they have in Tampa Bay, 
Um, they, those, they should be fine. Um, they have way better weapons than they did in, in fucking New England. Now. I know that much. Um, yeah, that's for sure. But uh, I, I still don't think Tom Brady's going to win the Super Bowl this year or ever. I think it's over for no, him. I think it's he'll, over for him. I, he'll go to the playoffs. I think he'll make a splash. Yeah. But I don't think he'll win a Super Bowl. Um, but as far as that, you know, uh, we got Dak Prescott still in dispute over his contract. So they did put the franchise tag on Dak Prescott. Uh, Jerry Jones, long may he live. Um, he ruined his franchise. Love it. Um, essentially, uh, he he put the franchise tag, and he's trying to come up with uh, with some offers for Dak Prescott. But the offers he's made have not been good, because he's giving which Dak is an average quarterback. He's giving him average mm-hmm. money, and yeah. Dak Prescott isn't having it. But the thing is, that's Dak Prescott's fault because when he had a chance to get that forty million, he declined it. So really, it's just bad negotiations on both parts. I think uh, mm-hmm. I don't think Dak Prescott is worth that much. And I don't then think you so have, either. I think his center just retired. His yeah, he just center. retired. Yeah. Um. So that's a no, big hole. Is it the center? I think it's one of the tackles. One of the, I think it was the left tackle. I thought it was the center. JD. Dirt? Oh no no JD says he doesn't follow that player. Yeah. <laughs> now we're well, okay. I know their offensive line is taking a hit this year. Uh. So you can see it like. They're very concerned, and then you know Dak Prescott's over here pushing for more money, and he, you know they didn't even pay Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper is not with the Cowboys anymore, um, from what I'm aware of, or is he? I don't think he is. He is. Amari I thought he Cooper signed... is back with the Cowboys. I thought he signed with someone else. No. Nope. He uh, okay, said he was well, happy. I know they paid. They paid uh, um, the running back a lot of money. Um, Wait, Randall then, Cobb left the Cowboys for the Texans. Yeah, for the Texans. Let's not let's not go with the Texans. Uh, Tex- <laughs> Texans, Texans. Uh, they're no longer in existence in the NFL. It's the Bill O'Briens, and the Houston Bill O'Briens are doing what the Bill O'Briens do: uh, do stupid shit, uh, letting go of a lot of players. Uh, over the week, uh, it came out that Deshaun Watson uh, sent out a cryptic tweet. Uh, it was a lyric talking about how. How he doesn't understand how shit's gonna go down with everything that's happening around him. I hope Deshaun Watson goes to another team. I really do. I know he's almost close to his, uh, his contract for his rookie year. He should. I know they're trying to pay him. They're working on that now. Um, but I really hope that someone in his camp goes to his ear and tells him, "Hey, man, don't be with the Bill O'Briens, bro. You want to be in a successful team? Go out there. I'm. I'm sure Texans fans will have no hate uh, for him at all if he does that right now." The majority of Texans fans have jumped ship, uh, rightfully so. Uh, the Texans don't long, no longer exist. Uh, so we'll see how Lowe's cheers for the Bill O'Briens next year. Lowe's, what do you think about the whole free agency thing? What caught um, your eye? Uh, the fact that Cam Newton is still out there. Yeah, he got. He, uh, they 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 pretty much let him go. Carolina cut him, yeah. which is crazy. Which I think is a good move for both Carolina. Okay, thank you for your service. We're not gonna strangle you to this trade, and probably yeah. the market wasn't even there anyway. I think I think with so Cam they're Newton, just like you know what with Cam Newton. Yeah, I think I don't think he ever evolved his game. I think he was too dependent on his God gifted talents, and then he never like evolved like his game to the point where he became like more I guess methodical about things, less less like emotional p- prone as he showed in the Super Bowl. Like, I think that was his peak, and I think that's one of the reasons they let him go. Well, do you know who they got, right? They got the guy from the Roughnecks. The yeah, they picked the up Roughnecks. the guy from the No, but they got so, somebody else, though. They, they signed nah, somebody else. They, they uh, got Teddy uh, Bridgewater. Bridgewater. Yeah, they got Teddy Bridgewater. So, I think that's going to be a good competition right there. A Me lot too. of people are talking about, and I think... In the end, PJ is going to win it out because I feel like PJ... He's hungrier. Bridgewater, don't get me wrong. Bridgewater, no, Bridgewater is hungry. I think he does a lot of things well. Mm. I think each of those things PJ does better. Throwing better and runs better. Runs better. Um, yeah, I Maybe agree. Bridgewater can read defenses better, but if PJ can catch up on that aspect, I feel like he can beat out yeah. uh, Bridgewater out of that position. Uh, so it's going to be entertaining to watch to see this XFL, like the best performer of the XFL, well, come to the NFL and battle if the against NFL, veterans. 
If this, I mean, if this not, Rona don't fuck up the season. He's not the only XFL player being signed either. Or scouted. No, I know. A I lot know. of but them are. And it's crazy. The XFL players. So. It, it, it's yeah. crazy how the XFL, like, even in the short amount of time, because they didn't even play the full season, the short amount of time, yeah, the yeah. impact that they had, it allowed the NFL scouts to look at these players and say, oh, you know what? This guy probably didn't come out of college looking good, but he refined his skills, and he can actually do this now and do that now. So I think that's going to improve the NFL, improve the talent. Do you, um, think, do you think that they should, they should get the XFL and use them as, in, like, an amateur league? They won't. I don't think they will. I think it would be a good idea, but people – I know people in Houston love the Roughnecks. I mean, the Bill O'Briens are trash right now, so they're looking for whatever little thing, and I think the Roughnecks uh, were that, and they play actually pretty good. They had a good running back. They had a decent offensive line, and you have to understand that some of these are players that play in the NFL at times, but they probably, you know, didn't have the talent. So, uh, yes, in a way, yes, and then in a way, no. Um, because I think with the NBA, you know how they have that D League or G yeah, the, League, whatever. The G League now. Yeah. No one really pays attention to them, and then like they never really hone their skill. You never hear hold oh, someone went to the G League and then came to the NBA and uh, became an All Star. You never yeah, hear that. Shit. I mean, you don't hear like them become an All Star, but it is essential for them. I mean, it does help them too in the in the situations where they do, they have like a player they they, they either drafted or traded for it within the league already and then he becomes ass so instead of like kind of getting rid of him and eating all that money you send him to the g league you know and get another player that you have that's sitting there that seems that might be better than that one so it it, just, it, it, it could help them in the nfl i think but especially with with all, all the con the constant rule changes the constant moves with preseason postseason yeah. and the rules and people, um, them trying to like enforce these these like don't touch my quarterback rules. I mean, I, I think it ha could help them, but in terms of like how the NFL would want to uh, like take it as understanding that it's not going to be there. Uh, mm -hmm. the, like any kind of money they put into it, don't expect a lot a lot of return. And of course, Correct. the NFL being a business, it's probably going to be like, nah, fuck that. If the XFL continues to grow, which I do, I do see that going. I mean, yeah. they're, I, I think they're they'll grow a second too. year. I think the XFL is only going to get bigger. If if NFL feels there's a chance of competition there, they might just buy just, them in just buy and them. have yeah. them become that second. Yeah, why compete with this growing league when you could just buy them up and they can be your second tier league? Like yeah. a lot of leagues already have. Yeah. That would but, uh, that's a ways down the road. Yeah, but exactly. PJ Walker will be kind of like the first test case. Can these guys come up and, and make. Um, I mean, he's not the first. Remember, Kurt, Kurt Warner came from the XFL. Oh, no, that's true. That's uh, and true. he won a Super Bowl. So there are stars. There's very rare cases mm -hmm. in the NFL, but they're super rare. They're too and far in between. Um, Kurt Warner is one of those great examples uh, that actually was able to go to the Arena Football League. And then make it to the pros, and then make it in the NFL, and, and be so, a Super Bowl quarterback. So who do y'all think is gonna sign up Cam Newton? Like, there's rumors that the Patriots might be in there. They got Jeremy Stidham or something like that. Honestly, I, uh, I right now as the number one QB. I mean, if Bill Belichick really is great, can he turn yeah, Stidham into a Pro Bowler? I I don't know. I I would feel like why not take in a Cam Newton, a uh, guy who already has experience. Or you, you got have to James pay him. Winston, Jamie's Winston out in the market. No, nah, he throws some interceptions. <laughs> I, I, I think. Yeah, but I, if anybody can turn him around, it's Bill Belichick. I think. You know? I think uh, Bill Belichick should uh, go after the Bill O'Brien's quarterback, uh, Deshaun Watson. No, and, there's no and way. Try to, try to do something there. No, no I, way. I He's giving Bill O'Brien is a dumbass. He traded DeAndre Hopkins for a second round pick. Yeah, I'm but sure no you way can make. You, there's a way. There's got to be a way. This G GM is stupid enough to give away <laughs> Deshaun Watson. There's literally no other fucking explanation. I um, mean, you can't even get a first rounder for probably the best wide receiver in the NFL. And then you mean to tell me you can't haggle the quarterback? Come on. Uh, I think you can. Uh, Bill Belichick is a beast. Uh, hopefully he does it because uh, I hate Bill O'Brien. Yeah, that would be great to see so, Deshaun Watson and the Patriots. Uh, I, mean, I would actually – anywhere Deshaun Watson goes, I would cheer for him simply because he gave his all for the city of Houston. Oh, he, actually, he need to go he to had, the Patriots, baby. He, he can go anywhere. <laughs> and I'll, I'll cheer. If he goes to Tampa Bay, if he goes to the Rams. He needs to go to a team where they actually win. He deserves to be a winner and not be with a fucking loser like Bill O'Brien. <laughs> All right. And there you have it. All right. Well, that pretty much does it for well, the NFL. No, well, yes. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say one thing real quick. And I yeah. think, and then we'll go back to the XFL, NFL thing. Um, you know, they do it with baseball. Baseball's got 
you know, a double A, triple A. I think yeah. the NFL really needs to incorporate that as well with using XFL as a farm league. You know, get those guys that are coming I mean, out of college. It, make them honestly, want to it could first. really help them too, especially if it's yeah. during the summertime when they're off season. Like, well, why I not? Think a lot of the problems we're having is these kids are getting into the into the NFL. They're getting all this money, all this startup stuff, and they don't know what the hell to do with themselves, and they're screwing up. That's where I have all these drug cases, all these abuse cases, all this other stuff. They're they're just going crazy thinking they can do it. They need that time in an actual league first. I think they need to have that time in an actual league first, then get recruited out of there to play in the NFL later on. And I think that'll actually help out, uh, not not just help the uh, play aspect because these, these kids will get used to an actual professional team before That's they get point, into actual professionals. You know, good point. Yeah, it, it's a good point. I, I don't know if they're going to do that to the NFL because keep in mind the lifespan of an NFL player on average is four, three to four years. Uh, that's just lifespan. So you're seeing, yeah. you you might see that revolving door, uh, but we'll see. You know, and especially now, a lot of NFL cats are you know retiring super super early. No, um, no. You saw Luke Kuechly over this past season retire. He's only 28, 29. Lucky duck. I mean, you, you see uh, Andrew Luck retire as well. So you're seeing a lot of young players retire. Oh, all them dudes from the uh, the 49ers. Uh, what was it? I forgot who was retiring super early, like one year in. I think it was one of the tackles or something or one of the defensive end players. But I think it was because he was having several concussions. Hmm. So I think yeah. he had to. I, it, it's hard to be in the NFL in regards to it. It's a contact sport. Uh, you know, props to them. But at the same time, you know, uh, they don't want to harm their bodies, and you can't you can't really hate them on that for for doing no. that. All right. But yeah, the, the XFL playing in, in an off season other than the NFL is smart too, because that way they're not they're not a competition for the NFL. You know, they're just their exactly. own league yeah. and they can do. I their don't own think thing no sport yeah. no sport in the United States is is better than the NFL. I think uh, in the United States, I know in the world it's soccer, but in the United States, NFL is number one hands down. Yeah. Uh, Tokyo 2020 Olympics postponed officially. Uh, yeah, you knew this was coming. I mean, you really knew this yeah. was coming. Yeah, postponed until 2021. Uh, let's see. Uh, according to ESPN.com, never before had the Olympic Games have been postponed or canceled for something other than war. But rarely has the world come to a grinding halt. We the are in war. Over the war, war. Yeah, you think we're, we really are. This is, this is a war against this the is the beginning. Stay your ass home and wash your hands. And your ass. Uh, yeah, well, that's optional. <laughs> but anyways, no. I mean, there's much to say about here, but it, uh, other than hey. that, th this is a good sign that they are postponing the Olympics. Uh, too many, too many people from too many different countries huddled up all together in one place, and then eventually returning home is not a great idea right now. So, Especially something like the Olympic Village, and you know, there's exactly. those guys are so close together. It's, it's yeah, gonna happen all those orgies so. just won't help. They'll just <laughs> continue to contaminate. Honestly, so, I mean, I honestly, mm -hmm. I would say, for just for the players' aspect, keep it going, but make sure they're tested before they go to the event. You know, and if unfortunately, if you got the virus, you can't go. You know, you're uh, take spot. But, I don't think that. no one really. I don't really think nobody watches the Olympics, anyways. So. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they do. do. Oh, yeah, it's still uh, a major I've sport. never, yeah. I've never sat down and yeah, watched it's, the Olympics it's still major. ever. Mm -hmm. I'm 32 years old. I mean, they, I, I've sat down watching NFL, NBA. I never sat down. To watch Olympics ever? Yeah, it's it's a major thing for every any country who supports it uh, because it's like literally billions of dollars are put into making new areas for this to happen, you know. And so it's it's definitely they get their money back in the in the, in the long run. But it's just you know it, yeah it's something, especially in, maybe not in the United States but in other countries it is a major event for them. Yeah. So. All right, well that's we're gonna wrap it up for sports. So let's move into gaming. Fatality. Oh. All Finish right. Room. PS5 and the Xbox Series X are not expected to be damn right. By the damn program. right. Damn right. I didn't. Damn right. I didn't expect that either. You don't, either. You don't I don't, need I don't that. expect it to happen. Yeah, because yeah. especially in this time frame, yeah. people are gonna need more entertainment, and that's yeah. You know, right now, gaming time, is yeah. in. Right now yeah. is the time to be a gamer. Oh, I don't have nothing to do. Yes, you do. You got Destiny 2. You have Resident Evil 3. You got the Switch. You got a whole <laughs> bunch of games on Xbox. You have X Xbox Game Pass. Notice if, I'm ignoring everything for PS. PS you're, uh, if you're really uh, bored, you got Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Uh, Animal Crossing. If, if a, there's no other game. No, I said, if, I said, if you're really bored, you know. If you're really, really bored and you're poor as fuck and you want to buy a game, 
That's only like 45 bucks, I think. That's nah, only 45 60. 60? Goddamn, I 60. wouldn't buy that shit. You can buy Animal <laughs> Crossing. If you can find a switch, by the way, if you but can yeah, find a anyways, like, yes. crazy. supposedly, uh, the, the releases for the new consoles this year is not going to be affected by the Rona. Uh, there's a lot of reports right now too, saying that GameStop can't afford a delay. <laughs> GameStop yeah. needs them to release these consoles this year. Uh, GameStop isn't doing so hot, especially after they, they went through this whole, we're essential. We have to stay open. And then all of a sudden, like after all the backlash, they're like, oh, all right, all right, fine. We'll close. Uh, after that happened, they actually had to ha uh, close down some, several stores because of this. And, but I, I did hear that they are doing like pay time leave or something like that. So, like they're not completely assholes, but you know, they I mean, are. I, I think they should be that with good employees, but the shitty employees from GameStop should get not one goddamn <laughs> motherfucking penny. Not a word. Uh, speaking of Sony though, being piece of, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Sony reduces piece of shit. Sony, say it, say it. Sony reduces PSN download speeds for the U.S. <laughs> That, that means there's too many kids playing on the PlayStation. Yeah, I mean it's a little kid. Uh, it's, I mean Fortnite. A lot of little kids play Fortnite. Uh, understandably <laughs> yeah. so. That's why I always said if if you want to play with real people, you play on Xbox. If you want to play with little kids and be you a know, pedophile, I, I you can play on PS4. I can't say that for certain because I've been on Xbox a few times and I had little kids play it on there as well. And I'm like, uh, okay, I've let, never me, had let me mute you. Let me mute you real quick because you're just being too annoying. Yeah, because no, I can't I, tell if you're a girl. I'm never. Well, I I, know, I I don't play Fortnite, so you know I I feel like that's a little kid game too. I was playing games. Apex. Um, Apex, I I I think that's another little kid game too. Apex and Warzone, um, I was playing, and I was just like uh, Warzone on airplane. Uh, this is from the from Sony. Uh, beginning today, quote, beginning today, uh, we will take similar measures in the United States, comma. And we will continue to take appropriate action to do our part to help ensure internet stability as this unprecedented situation continues to evolve. So basically they're saying, look, there's too many people on here. It, it does slow down. Like some people or will lag you out. So in order to stop that from happening, let's just kind of even kill everybody and just have, instead of being at hundred percent all the time, it's going to be like 60, 70%, you know, yeah. uh, which is, which is in, Unheard of. I mean, we reported too that Netflix is doing this. Uh, other but not here. Services. Not here. Not uh, here in the United States. That's in Italy and Europe. Other streaming services. Even even internet companies themselves are doing it. Um, it's just right now everybody's stuck inside, so we have to kind of like throttle back the internet for everybody can use it. You know what? Luckily for me, I, I've never heard of AT and T do. Uh, uh, I mean, Comcast do that. I have Comcast. My internet. We have right now. Bro, they do know, that to you all the time. Bro, yeah. they haven't done it to me. My <laughs> my internet's been like you haven't legit. noticed, but they do it. <laughs> they, they, I mean, my, ever since I've been I've been playing. I play work at the same. Uh, I shouldn't be saying that. Well, I'm not one from work. Watch this. <laughs> uh, I play and work at the same anyway. time. You know, like I'm legit, like chilling at the crib, just playing video games and doing work at the same time and getting paid for it. It's it's ironic how the humans can be so multitasking. Um, it's, it's, it shows how, how mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I've I never seen that. I hope in, in this next couple of weeks this whole Rona shit dies down and we're able to go back to business as usual. Did you not see I'm the not latest lie, statistics? We're, we're on I, the rise, I, baby. Bro, I've been we're trying to We're on the rise. Away. Lord knows, bro. We're Lord the only knows. ones over 100,000 now. <laughs> Look, guys. Stay I'm not even going to lie to you. They don't want to listen, man. I didn't have Hulu. I did not have Crunchyroll. I had not. I did not have Disney Plus. The only thing I had was Netflix. Okay. Uh, since this has been here, I've been watching ESPN. Nothing but the Rona. Nothing but the Rona. Oh, we can't do this because of the Rona. And I can't watch the news because of Rona. And then I have to see Biden's own dumbass talk like a like a moron. And I don't want to watch that. And then I have to like go and then watch something else. Literally, I've been watching YouTube and I've been watching like clips of like stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get Hulu, Netflix, and all this shit to take my mind off stuff. So, you know, I, I know we're, we're, but they said we're at the top, but now we're going to curve down. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hey, man, I'm optimistic. I'm tired yeah. of being in this goddamn apartment. I want to go outside. Wow. <laughs> okay. You can still go outside. You just can't, you know, go very far. Bye, 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 bye. Give me six feet. Get yourself, oh, some, get yourself some sun. I want to go to the club. <laughs> you you haven't even club. been to a club in like forever. Shut the, shut that shit up. Yeah, real quick. Cool. I just go now. Shut, 
it's a it's a it's that little though. kid effect where you, you play with the toy you get tired of it and then somebody yeah. else plays with it and you're like i want it back oh right? man get now i want to i want to i want to go to a bar and get <laughs> fucked up i'm tired of being here my dogs I'm, I'm tired of seeing me and i'm tired of seeing them oh, yeah, bitch ass motherfucker. I, I wouldn't blame them uh yeah, nintendo bro. switches hard to find right now what's going on uh according to <clears throat> polygon uh, the official nintendo store is sold out of all stock including the refurbished models there was on sale Ooh. just a couple of days ago it's just better at other providers it's it's not just it's not better at other providers which has filed social media with fan frustration has been filled with social media fan frustration but it was basically all the switches are still out. Is it because of where they're coming from? Because they're not enough production, or is it just everybody's like, you know what? We're gonna be stuck at home. We don't play. We're gonna That's play. That's what it is. We're gonna play some Pokemon, some Animal Crossing. That's what it is. Uh, the billions of indie games they have on there that probably only like one percent of people actually play. I mean, what are we talking about? I, I think that with the Switch, uh, it's a, let's just let's just call it how it is. It's a very good console, a handheld console, easy to play with, kid friendly. Um, yeah. Uh, easy to use and that helps out a lot people they were like oh shit I'm gonna have to be working with my kids in the goddamn fucking apartment in the goddamn fucking house and I need them to shut the fuck up oh I'll just buy them a goddamn switch and so they'll just buy them a switch and then you know they'll calm the fuck down excuse me guys <laughs> yeah the, the, the Nintendo switch is a lot more kid-friendly so yeah it does make more sense now that more kids are staying at home people are gonna want to keep them entertained rather than you know the good old-fashioned go outside and play which I can't do anymore so you gotta have, you gotta do something, and that's that's one of the best ways. Just give them a new console or something that, that's easily portable. You know? I have a theory that uh, public public enemy fifty nine has been buying up all the switches. Me too. I, I know, three. I know, I know. He has several already in his in his <laughs> possession. Uh, he's also entered several giveaways for more switches. I'm scared. I think he has a hoarding problem with Nintendo switches, and uh, I'd like to take his uh, word right now. What he's gonna have to say about this. I've only bought three switches in my life. <laughs> I don't think that's really. Uh, I brought the original Switch, the Switch Lite, and then the version two of the original Switch, which has better battery life. So I think it's all justified. I tried to get my hands on the new Animal Crossing Switch. I'm still waiting on that to reappear on Amazon or something. Um, but I think it's a combination of things. Um, I think it's one half that. One, two of the countries mostly affected by this, the coronavirus, have been China and Japan. Um, and second, also, you have people spending a lot of time at home and have nothing to do. So why not, you know, drop $300 and get yourself a new Switch and you can enjoy all these games in your free time. Uh, I had a friend recently that she was looking for a Switch, couldn't find one, couldn't find one, looked all over the place. She had to settle for a family bundle at uh, Costco, so she had to pay more because it was not only the Switch that gives you, um, you Games. know, a carrying case, all oh, that stuff. Okay, so okay. they, like, overcharge you for accessories, and you're buying this whole bundle, but she had no choice. Accessories. Uh, but she had no yeah, choice accessory. because she just couldn't find one by itself, so she had to go ahead and buy, like, buy it with the extra controllers and screen protector and case and all that, but... That's what people, that's the links people are going to to get their yeah. hands on the Switch right now is because they're selling like hotcakes. And maybe they're not being available, widely available as they usually are because of all this, the you know, Rona. coronavirus stuff, so. All right. Uh, lastly in gaming, Nintendo Direct had a, a Shadow Drop Mini, little little Mini Direct. Uh, Los, did you see it? What happened? Uh, yeah, it wasn't, uh, it was a direct mini, uh, like the title implicates, it wasn't a lot of big announcements. Mm -hmm. Uh, they kind of gave a release date for the Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, okay. Definitive Edition, which is the end of, uh, May. Um, they also put that they're putting out the Borderlands Collection. Oh, yeah, the I did see Bioshock that. Yeah. Collection. Yeah, I see that. Uh, and, uh, the XCOM Collection out on it, which is pretty cool as well, end of May. Uh, they also t uh, put some more information on the Pokemon DLC and mm. Animal Crossing DLC. Animal uh, Crossing has DLC? Well, it has regular updates. So in Animal Crossing, yeah, there's like a Yeah, because they have seasonal do. updates, don't they? Yeah, correct. So you can like time travel. So 
they didn't want people to just time travel to like holidays and enjoy that stuff before it's even out. So, uh, <laughs> what's wrong? What JP? they're doing is uh, you can't access those things until the updates are live, and then you'll be <sighs> able to access that stuff. Um, but yeah, well, there was another thing, uh, uh, Xenoblade, and then I forget what else was on there. But uh, oh, there's that one game that I really like uh, that's coming out. It kind of looks like Studio Ghibli. And like Zelda mixed together, it's called Baldo. I don't know if you ha guys heard of it. It's kind of flown under the radar. Nope. But man, I've seen some gameplay on it. It looks beautiful, and it kind of like man, it kind of looks like a kind of uh, Zelda kind of play Zelda style. game, so, yeah. So I can't. That's a game I'm really excited for. They kind of didn't give a release date for that. They just said summer. But damn, they can't get here uh, quick enough. Um, I'm. I mean, a Nintendo right now. It's probably, I would say, moving in a lot of the right direction as far as updating their games. I know that this year is going to be very big for them, uh, but I think the main sellers are going to be Xbox and PS5 when they come out. Um, yeah. And when they come out, they're going to come out blazing, I think, because um, the competition seems like it's heating up. What I would like to give a congrats on um, is Doom Eternal. Um Doom Eternal looks like it's a really, really, really good game. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are playing it. it, it mm -hmm. it's, it's for the Switch as well, right, Los? I believe it's for the Switch as it, well. It's coming to the Switch, I think. It's it, coming, it, okay. it will be coming to the Switch. Yeah, it's not out yet. So um, the game is marvelous. I've, I've watched a lot of clips on it. I can't really play it because I get nasty headaches. Um, for some strange reason, all the fast pace. Really, really oh, no, it is out. I'm sorry. It is out. Oh, it is out? Okay. So, but I've seen clips. I've watched, you know, like, people play it, and it looks amazing. Um, you know, shout out to them, Doom, for making a comeback. No one thought it was going to be this big. Man, they really hit it on the park. Oh, oh no, a I'm couple a, of other I'm things. I'm a dumbass liar. Never mind. It's pre-order. You can pre-order it. Yeah, another, another couple of things that they uh, uh, showed, Bravely Default 2, which was a big RPG on the 3DS, uh, Bravely Default, uh, they are coming out with the next uh, sequel, uh, and it looks pretty good. The graphics look pretty solid. Uh, the, I never was a, I never really got into the first one, but this one looks like it, it looks pretty solid. And they did release a demo, although I haven't touched the demo yet. I, I will and kind of see if I if that is something I can dig another 60 hours into. Um, and very <laughs> a good move by Nintendo. They have a Ring Fit Adventure game, which is like a workout game. Mm -hmm. They've released an update, which I think right now is the perfect time to release an update because people are at home. They want to, you know, some people like to work out. And this is like a good incentive for them uh, to either buy the game or update the game. But it's like an update with music. So you're working out to music and all that to their Ring Fit Adventure workout game. So I thought that was a really smart move to release that, especially during these times. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. JD, anything you want to add to that? No, I mean it all looks. It looks like, a, like I said, as long as they keep everything on track, we're good to go. I just think the, uh, like I said, the switch definitely it should be. Um, they can keep their keep their uh, schedule going. I think they'll be okay. Oh, as far okay. as like right now, right now they're just sort of animal crossing. They're killing it. I don't know why I haven't played a game, but I don't know. <laughs> um, right, I don't understand it, but okay. I don't understand either. The only thing well, I've seen is like everybody's like game of the year. Everybody's the year. like customizing yeah. their rooms and. But yes, yeah, I mean, I mean you know, something is doing the Switch. I think it's gonna be doing a lot better as well. I've seen a lot of kids, a lot of little girls like play that. So I mean, I can see the popularity, especially with little the kids. Year. I can see. Yeah, it is. It is. Game of the year. I think there's more de the design more for kids. So I think it's, that's why it's gonna it's sitting so well with the Switch. You know, again, that's that's more designed for the younger generation. It is for adults. Agreed. So, but all right. Uh, well, that's going to be it for the, the podcast today. Uh, any what is it? Final punches. Hey man, I need two of y'all motherfuckers who play Destiny oh Two God. to join. All right. Um, I just want to call it right now. Animal Crossing will be the game of the year for 2020. You can you know, jot it down for the Game Awards. It's a done deal. Any other game coming out? I'll this take year. that bet. The only competition that it could have is Cyberpunk, but even then, I don't think Cyberpunk's gonna live up to all the hype. Um, no, no, no. We already have a wager. On who do we think is gonna sell more copies? You said uh, Final Fantasy remake. Final Fantasy seven remake. And I said Animal Crossing, and I'm very, I'm feeling very confident about those twenty dollars. Very confident. Okay. JD. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm again, I've been watching more videos lately. So if you guys are into the Star Trek series or anything like that, the Picard series is now fully available 
on CBS Access, and mm-hmm. I think they gave it like a seven-day uh, trial version. So if you guys want to catch up on that, it actually was pretty good. I enjoyed it, so I think everybody should uh, give that a shot as well. All right. Uh, well, I finally got my first win in Warzone. I'm absolutely excited. Oh, yeah. excited about I saw that shit. That shit was <laughs> legit. Bro, that shit, that shit was legit. That shit took me so long, bro. 18 days. No, no, 16 days. I don't know. It took me too many damn that days. That shit was legit. Oh, hey, uh, JP, when I win those $20, I'm going to invest them right back into Nintendo. So, uh, disclaimer. <laughs> All right, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Remember, we are on uh, our main podcast is on YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash the three way podcast. We do have the audio versions on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and it's all brought to you by Anchor. And it's not just on those platforms, it's basically any and all podcasting platforms you can hear us for free. Uh, but don't forget if you liked anything this talk, please let us know. Talk to us, leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, wash share. your hands, and wash your ass, nasty motherfuckers. That too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, and uh, Peace. see you.